Good evening for WRCO News. I'm Joanne Krulotz. The American Red Cross of Wisconsin is issuing an urgent appeal for volunteers who are willing to travel this fall to support emergency shelters for major national disaster relief efforts. Interested volunteers are urged to sign up today at redcross.org slash volunteer. All candidates must complete the necessary training and be able to commit to a two-week deployment. Applicants who don't have disaster experience but have supervision, management, or organizational skills, a strong desire to help others, and the ability to thrive in a fast-paced, dynamic environment are encouraged to apply. As of Monday, more than 900 Red Cross disaster responders are on the ground across 10 states, devastated by Hurricane Helene in the southeast, including hard-hit North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida. Beyond becoming a Red Cross volunteer, people can help in other ways, following Helene. Financial donations are the quickest and fastest way to get help to people who need it. Red Cross Executive Director Rebecca Rockhill. And even though the Red Cross is chartered by the government for disaster response, we don't receive any government funding for that response. A hundred percent of that comes from donations from individuals. That support is essential. Blood donations will also help. Hurricane Helene has caused more than 1,500 blood donations to go uncollected in the southeast, yet the need for blood remains constant for patients in need. A blood drive is being held today until 6 at American Legion Post 245 in Cross Plains. A blood drive will be held tomorrow from 12.30 to 5.30 at the Arena Fire and EMS Station. Two opportunities to give will be held next week. The first is Monday from 1 to 6 at the American Legion Clubhouse in Plain. The second is Wednesday from 9 to 2 at Wisconsin Heights High School. Appointments are encouraged by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS or go online to redcrossblood.org. Donate to the Red Cross and other organizations by visiting Civic Media's Hurricane Helene Help page at civicmedia.us slash help. Wisconsin Humane Groups are helping animals displaced by Hurricane Helene. A group of 45 dogs and 25 cats arrived in Wisconsin Wednesday and were taken to various shelters in the state. The Dane County Humane Society is assisting with 10 cats. Spokeswoman Lisa Bernard says that will open up space in affected areas to handle local lost pets and reunite them with their owners. DCHS will let the public know when the animals they've received are up for adoption. The presidential campaign continues to focus on Wisconsin. Vice President Kamala Harris is set to campaign at Ripon College today, while former President Donald Trump will return to the state this weekend. Ripon is known as the historic birthplace of the Republican Party. Trump's Sunday stop in Juneau comes just days after his events in the Democratic strongholds of Milwaukee and Dane County. The latest Marquette Law School poll shows Democrat Kamala Harris continues to lead Republican Donald Trump in Wisconsin. Like a poll in early September, it remains a close race, with Harris holding a four-point lead over Trump among both registered and likely voters. Harris's four-point margin is within the 4.4 percentage point margin of error. In the Senate race, Democratic incumbent Tammy Baldwin has seen her lead over Republican challenger Eric Hovde grow to seven points among registered and likely voters. There's something for everyone in the WRCO listening area this weekend. An array of activities will be held beginning Friday and running through Sunday. From the Richland Center Homecoming Parade to Tractor Rides and Benefits and the Canyon of Lights Parade. Center Color Fest will kick off with the Hill Country Classic Power's annual Wheels of Time Truck and Tractor Show at the Richland County Fairgrounds. View classic restored tractors, trucks, cars, and other vehicles all weekend. A parade will be held Saturday at 4. The show will run Friday through Sunday until 4. Admission is free. You are encouraged to support the show through your purchase of pie, and the 4-H will be serving food and refreshments. The Greater Richland Area Chamber and local downtown businesses will host its annual Wine and Beer Walk. It will be followed by a dance party at the Phoenix Center from 8.30 to 11.30. The UW-Richland alumni will be honoring five distinguished alumni at their annual brunch at the Phoenix Center Saturday. The distinguished alumni are Janet Goplin-Kinney, Thomas Simonson, Mary Sue Bethke, Edward Pulvermacher, and Jonathan Yancey. Oakwood Fruit Farm will host its customer appreciation days at the Orchard Saturday and Sunday. There are many sale specials, sampling of retail store offerings, author book signings, and more. 
Richland County EMS will host a fall festival Saturday from noon to 4 at Cross Cup Park. Enjoy caramel apples, a corn boil, smoked meats, and children's activities. The Friendship Quilters Quilt Show will be held at Schmidt Woodland Hills Senior Living Facility. Lorna Maxwell is a longtime member of the Friendship Quilters. We have a very talented group of quilters in our area. We really do. Many of them teach classes, you know, in our area, make quilts for uh, companies that have the fabric. They send them the fabric and they make quilts for them to display, to sell their fabrics. We have a lot of talented quilters in Quilt Guild. All of them are talented. A variety of quilted items will be on display. There's usually... If we have room, each person can provide two quilts and or wall hangings or table runners or whatever that we will display. Friendship Quilters member Carol Moon says the show will also feature a bed turning. And there you might see an antique quilt or an old quilt that was made by either your mother or your grandmother that one of the members are going to donate. The bed turnings mean that the quilt will have a story and they'll have written that and it'll be shown in the chapel and there's two times on Saturday, 11 and 2, and then one time on Sunday at 2 p.m. And there you might see an antique quilt. They're just layered on this bed and then two people are going to hold it up and then they'll tell the story about why this particular member has decided to have it on display. And it could be your president's quilt because it's an old-fashioned type quilt or it could be one that you've just finished but it has a special meaning to you. The quilt show will be held from 1 to 4 both Saturday and Sunday. Vitesnik Power Sports will celebrate its 50th anniversary with a customer appreciation day Saturday from 10 to 1. You are invited to hang out and enjoy music, food, trucks, bouncy castles, and a classic motorcycle display. Join the community of Richland Center for a celebration of sights and sounds at the Canyon of Lights Nighttime Parade Saturday night at 7. Bands, civic clubs, and businesses, as well as other unique nighttime lighted floats, are all a part of the Canyon of Lights Parade. This year's theme is Superhero Showdown. American Legion Post 13 in Richland Center will be serving a free will biscuits and gravy and scrambled eggs breakfast Sunday morning. Serving will be from 7 until gone. And tours of the 80 German Warehouse will be held Sunday. Tours begin on the hour promptly at 11, noon, 1, and 2. Tickets are priced at $20 per person. Finalists have been named for the coolest thing made in Wisconsin. Over 130 products were initially nominated for the competition, which looks to highlight the state's diverse manufacturing industry. The eight finalists include the Dauntless Maple Syrup Evaporator, the Works Burger Blend Seasoning, custom-built metal benches from production grinding and matching, the X739 Signature Series Lawn Tractor, Revo Magnet Trigger Alarm, Jolly Good Soda, Minocqua Popcorn and Puffs, and Military Medals and Insignia. The winners will compete in matchups to determine the top four, and those four products will compete in one final popular vote round to determine the ultimate winner. Wisconsin residents are sending a lot of ticks to researchers this year. Marshfield Clinic is doing a long-term study on the tick population in Wisconsin and how it's changing researchers, asked people who remove or find ticks to send them in, and so far over 5,400 have been submitted. In addition to the more common deer tick, which carries Lyme disease, the team also received 13 Lone Star ticks, which are rare in the state. A bite from the Lone Star tick can cause an illness that makes people allergic to meats and other animal proteins.